Testing, 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 one, two, three, check. There we are. Am I on? Am I on the internet? Good morning, good morning. Hey, Masato, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. All right, I'm going to give it a few minutes for everybody to start uh, rolling in to all seven people that YouTube will notify about this stream. <laughs> uh, good morning, Mr. Woods. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for your uh, membership. I'm good, I'm good. I'm doing good today. No, uh, so I saw... Where'd this guy Danny Earls uh, come from, by the way? Does anybody know? It's like he dropped out of the sky or something a few weeks ago on Twitter. Um, Danny Earls is the guy that, uh, that drew this. And um, <laughs> you, you barely got notified. Yeah, I know. It's 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 the thing. But um, but yeah, like uh, I think he, he posted some Batman pages, which uh, I've got somewhere. I downloaded them because... I was going to talk about him at some point, and maybe I'll find those. Uh, maybe I can figure out what I did with this. But uh, anyway, he drew this uh, Daredevil commission and uh, posted on Twitter, and so I, I asked him if I could color it and uh, on the stream today, and he said, yeah. Uh, <laughs> what's going on, Mr. Powerlifting? How's it going? Uh, I apologize to uh, your company for their delays in IT tickets for the next couple hours. <laughs> but uh, anyway, this guy came out of uh, the sky uh, onto Twitter and uh, just started drawing comics that look like this. That's what I know about him. Now, I mean, that's that's the story that I have in my head about him. He's some kind of wizard. Um but anyway, check him out, uh, uh, Danny Earl's uh, incredible, incredible stuff. And um, he's done 90% of the job for us on this with all the, the values in it. So I thought I would start with uh, just talking about the composition and, and talking about what I like about this. And um, But yeah, Danny Earl's is making the rounds. Former pro soccer player in Ireland. See, this guy is getting more interesting by the minute <laughs> anyway uh I, i'm sure everybody in the world is already trying to hire him or whatever uh so i'm looking forward to seeing what he's doing but um anyway the first thing i want to talk about on this uh are the values in it and just the the the, the composition and, and and all the the kind of the basic stuff that um he used to to put this together and uh and also will use to sort of uh you know uh, enhance uh actually i don't know if i can enhance this <laughs> we're just gonna try to not make it worse um uh, am i dark is it dark in here does that help at all big white monitor over here yeah i think my lights yeah that helps a little bit i think my light is uh dying or something the volume is too low the volume is max over here i'm sorry turn it up <laughs> my stream, my my uh, my mic is all. I don't know what's wrong with it. It's always been on the low side. But yeah, sorry. Turn your speakers up. Turn your headphones up. And uh, so anyway, let me get a. Uh, let's start with um, something I can draw with that you can see. What can you see on this? You can kind of see all this. All right. So first off, I just want to talk about the, the basic, basic composition, which is very, very simple, uh, which is probably why it works so well. So we have a, uh, uh, let's see, can you see that? I got to get something fast. There we go. We have a frame here, and we got a bunch of empty space, effectively, and our guy. So at its simplest, <laughs> it's a really, really simple composition. But that's the way it helps to, at least for me, that's the way I start looking at these. Because when I start making decisions, 
I want to reinforce that structure. Okay. The, this is the, uh, you know, this is the scaffolding that, that, you know, the drawing is built on. And so our colors, uh, I don't know what the analogy is for that, but our colors, uh, should fit. <laughs> Shockingly. Okay. So, um, the other thing I wanted to point out is uh, how he uses the the brights on this. And I, I was really, just really impressed. Again, this is really basic, simple stuff that I talk about on this channel all the time. But we have to talk about it because everybody that's making good art is doing it. Uh, which is, first, if you noticed, the biggest area of brightness in the image, of course... Uh, that is unbroken is, you know, the big uh, circle there, the tray around him. And, you know, smack dab in the middle of it, we have a huge area of black, okay, a huge uh, dark area. And so there's no other place on this image where that much white meets that much dark, okay? Um, there are places where there are big chunks of darkness, like this this huge area over here, Um just which is basically an arrow pointing to Daredevil, by the way. <laughs> very subtle, very subtle. Again, the simple stuff is what works. But you can look at this area, and we've got it. We've got the big dark area, and then we've got kind of a mid tone, effectively, with the sign. And then uh, you know he's kind of broken that little pattern uh, with the uh, doves flying off, very John Woo uh, <laughs> going on here. But um, again, it's 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 big simple decisions you know the the places where if we, if we sort of digitally squint at this uh wait that didn't work uh filter will this do what i need it to do yeah all right don't adjust your set all right. I want you to notice that even with with no details whatsoever, from a mile away, we can still point out what seems to be the most interesting part of this image, regardless of what the angle is, regardless of uh, how small it is, because we've got this this huge dark shape. And we're breaking that, uh, you know, then we've got a light shape here next to it. And we're breaking that light shape with the dark shape. Okay? So, again, I don't want to beat a dead horse, but I'm just I'm trying to point out that it's easy to look at all the detail in this and get overwhelmed, especially if you're new to this. Like, oh, man, i got to do all this stuff. This is the way that I think through those the early part of the process so that you actually know what your decision should be based on. Um, the other thing that I want to point out here, the poor, the poor dead horse, before we get going, is if you look at how he uses white here, it sort of, it starts in the big chunky areas, and then as we get through here, you know, obviously it's blending with the buildings and creating that silhouette, which is really what's important about the, the value here, is just to get this silhouette. You know, we've got it. We've got all the darker tones here on the buildings, in order to get a lot of contrast to make sure that the edges and the silhouettes of those buildings is there. He's got this white coming up from the bottom, and if you look at the amount of white to black there, you know it's you know what maybe half, half and half, and then as we get down here, it's almost entirely dark with just a little bit of white, and so. Everything in this, there's sort of a spiral, uh, you know, what, what do you call that, golden ratio-ish type thing happening here where the values kind of do this sort of thing here, you know? And uh, so anyway, I wanted to talk about that and, and kind of show you guys how I'm going to be, uh, how I'm seeing this to begin with. Does that make sense? Questions, comments, concerns? Okay, good. And uh, I'll explain the layers here. Uh, right now, we have the uh, inks layer, which is just on a transparent layer on top. 
I created that. I downloaded this from his Twitter and just upsized it. It's just for this video, so, <laughs> you know. Um, the, uh, the other thing is just the white below, which right now is just the base. And then I did do some basic flats, uh, really just to break up those big planes that I was talking about. So, and if you, and that's another tip I would say that if you're in a hurry, you gotta, and I'm not on this, I'm chilling out on this today. Uh, I've got more work I've got to hurry through later. No, uh, not hurry. You know what I'm saying. Uh, but if you're short on time, get your planes, get your big stuff flatted. And that way, it's easy to go in and manipulate, make those decisions and get them going. And then as you get in there and you realize, oh, I gotta, I'm going to be selecting things, you can always flat more. But basic flats, I really just separated the uh, front part of this, uh, you know, the the uh, the front plane here on this, and then like the next street over, because I knew I was probably going to separate those. Um, but this is one of those images I think that we could kind of do whatever, and it's gonna it's gonna look amazing, unless we just do way too many colors, probably. Anyway. I'm going to start with an overlay layer uh, because I want to get uh, kind of a you know one big color going on this, uh, and then we've got something to base the rest of the decisions on. Um, and so, so Daredevil is red. I'm pretty sure this is his red costume. Um. Man, we could do anything with this. We could we could go like uh, full on, you know, Hell's Kitchen vibe, where the whole thing feels hot. I could see that looking being interesting. Um, I could see like a complimentary, you know, where Daredevil's the only red thing on the page, and like everything else is. Not, yeah, it already looks cool. <laughs> Just doing nothing except filling in a couple of colors. <laughs> uh, there's so much we can do with this. What do we want to do with this? Yeah, I'm basically doing, um, uh, I'm basically doing color sketches, <laughs> just using my flats. Um, that's again, one of the reasons why I like doing the flats in the same way as I would the rest of the planes. And so you can sort of, you know, digitally sketch your ideas out. Uh, now if you want, um, you know, to affect the values more because overlay is really not messing with the values very much. But let's say that I do want to try a darker color on the sky or do something there. Then doing something just below the inks, uh, of course, will still work in uh, the same way. Yeah, are we done? <laughs> just call it. Wow. I'm really impressed with this piece of art, by the way. Have I said that? Hey, guys, how's it going? Hey, Paolo, what's going on? And uh, I'm also, you can kind of shift around, um, you know, what's already there. But I'm really just trying to get to a uh, like a base that I can start with, and I'm
I like that look with the buildings. Yeah, I do too. I do too. This is one of those things that I think if... Man, yeah, I would like probably just do this and turn it in. <laughs> like, honestly, I'm not going to do that today. We're going to color this today. But if I, if I sent this to an editor, is their editor on this planet going to say no to that? <laughs> just... Or maybe for, you know, for the promo poster or something. Maybe it's not the cover. But good grief. It's kind of amazing. Red red and black, everything else black and white. Yeah, I'm I'm telling y'all, like I think that that's actually probably what it should be, is you know, that. Check out the by the way, I didn't talk about this in the composition, but but all of these like there's such strong lines, like even with the uh uh, you know, obviously, like, this sign is pointing at Daredevil, and you've got the birds that are going from, like, small, medium, large. There's just so many cool lines on this. But this is what I mean when I, when I, when I said that I can only screw this thing up. <laughs> it's like... Uh, sorry. Sorry if that sound came through. Um, Because, yeah, I knew. Like, man, everything is going to look good on this. But I guess we will, I guess I will, like, do some colors. <laughs> I'm kind of sad about it, I think. Um, and that's the thing, like, if if the sky is red, then he can't be red, really. Not the same red. I guess he could be. And we could just keep that light value. Ooh, in his eyes, maybe? What if, sorry, I'm... thinking thanks for recommending that marco bucci playlist it's been very insightful oh yeah uh, that was uh 15 minutes to a better painting yeah for anybody that didn't didn't catch that last time you know what i'm gonna save that version of this so that when I get done with this, we can compare and go, nope, this was it. This was the right one. <laughs> this is where you should have stopped. <laughs> All right. Now, what do we do? Let's see. Let's try. That feels quite bold. Um, the thing is, though, I'm already messing up his values. So, let's put a mask on that, and let's paint this away. Maybe there is a version of this that won't be terrible. I'm not confident in this today, guys. <laughs> His eyes are very much red in the books, right? So far, I don't hate it. <laughs> that's that's an improvement over where we've been. Oh, uh, let me uh, let's see, canvas new window. I'll put a copy of this 
Um, right about there. That way, for everybody coming in. Oh, well, that's too small. Let's do. Now, now when I'm zoomed up and everybody's wondering what I'm working on, there you go. <laughs> I think the biggest takeaway I took from that series is to learning to see less and simplify. Dude, I, th I think that is the secret to like all art. Like, um, I really think so. Because you look at you think about like the strongest cinematography you know when people say oh man the cinematography in this movie what like very very often you're gonna get these like super like stark there's like nothing in like the whole thing and then there's like this guy and everybody's like oh my god this director is such a visionary and it's like no, it's just incredibly freaking simple. <laughs> you know? Um, there's a lot of nothing. You know, there's a lot of, uh, you know, context, I guess, is what the fancy uh, term for that would be. But I think I'm going to try something here. too small um you can say that again i always try to cram too much detail and stuff into the thing it's just not needed and the thing is like and i think this is a very like impressively detailed background but just remember what it is like it's the background <laughs> so the only reason you can do this much detail is because it's not up here you know it's another form of contrast like that that the idea of having complex versus simple you know you, you can divide this up a lot of ways um but uh, anyway what layer was i on <laughs> okay I don't know if that one really doesn't if know if it needs it. Maybe a little bit on top of the lines. That's what I'm gonna try. Yeah, hopefully you won't hate that. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty subtle. I did not... Uh, yeah, like the whole rest of this is just going to be tweaking the background. <laughs> Probably. Like from here on out. Like Marco was saying, using the same value for the shadow on an object plus the shadow cast by the object was like, what? <laughs> uh just want to say thanks again yeah yeah like that that series should be like required viewing for i think just anyone that wants to make any kind of art uh we're, we're talking about um marco bucci's uh 15 minutes to a better painting i believe is the name of it and um I, I think it's probably, yeah, like, if, and it was basically what somebody asked the other day. It's like, if someone said, all right, you have one, one playlist to tell people about to get better with color and composition and just art, it would be that series. Like, there's a reason why Marco is, like, one of just a handful of other channels that I have featured on my channel because... Um, 
his videos were were really really uh important for me yeah the, their videos are structured well he knows what he's doing when it comes to making videos like i hate him yeah <laughs> no he's 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 awesome he's really awesome All right, so I'm going to take a little bit of that sky color and pull that down in front of uh, that second row of buildings. And so that will sort of, it will do two things. It will, uh, you know, uh, make our background a little bit more cohesive and um, uh, yeah, kind of push push the buildings a little bit toward the sky a little bit depth to the background yeah there you go and then I'm thinking use that same color as uh Let's see, if we use a little bit of that on the front, that should all kind of tie that together. So I, I, if, you, if you think like uh, in terms of, if you know gradient maps, I am effectively uh, thinking human gradient map right here. <laughs> uh, all of these light values, we can push them toward yellow. And that will sort of, uh, again, sort of t brings our, our background a little bit closer uh, to itself as far as like what's there. It takes this plane and integrates some of that but I'm not just like washing it in it and that way it's uh it just looks like a cool combination but all all of these light values in here I'm just touching up with some yellow just like if you know how gradient maps work that is similar and like the windows yeah, colorists get to determine uh, who is home and who is working and who's sleeping. <laughs> very, very powerful uh, position we're in here. And none of this is actually separated in flats <laughs> so uh, that's why you don't see me choosing any flats other than the big ones what do they call this on art school triadic doesn't that sound fancy oh yes today we're doing a, a triadic color scheme <clears throat> Excuse me. I love the color composition. Warm, dark, and grimy. I'm still afraid it might be overcooked, but I don't know. I don't know if I don't like my my first version better. Oh, I see there's a little, I'm, I'm just now noticing this little bit of, uh, what is, what would you call this? Like a, well, it's a shadow on the roof here. So I'm going to do a quick selection around that. Oh, and Clip's doing that thing where it erases 
Stop it. Stop it. Removing. Yeah, this is really annoying. <laughs> okay, never mind. We'll go that way. Uh, yeah, where it, it starts deleting points. I really wish it would, wouldn't do that. It's handy at times. And did I separate that tower? No. There we go. Oops, wrong layer. What is affecting that? Oh, that is affecting that. I'm going to put a... Uh, hold on one second. I need to save the selection. Actually, that's exactly what I wanted it to look like. So let me just pull that down. And just turn the opacity down. A little bit. Sorry, bear with me a moment. There we go. I was trying to put a mask on that layer. So that I could paint that green away and paint the yellow back. What am I doing wrong? <laughs> I've screwed up my layer some. Oh, oh, I know what it is. The value there is a lot darker. There we go. Sorry. I made that way too complicated because I was... <laughs> I assumed something wrong about that layer there. All right. So let's fix this. That goes there. Yeah, I'm just going to paint this back out where I don't want it. And I'm thinking that instead of having those white highlights, they should maybe be yellow. I'm thinking. At least have some yellow in it. That's what we needed. Yeah, that helps. So right now, the only thing that is pure white are these birds. So, I don't know if I like that or not. So I'm thinking, what if... Sorry, bear with me a moment here. Don't know if it needs that.
that helps. It was a little too intense to me. Something about the sky was a little bit too intense, so, and it still might be. Um, but, uh, we're kind of back to where he's the only red thing there. Which I don't know if I want that necessarily. Uh, fancy, or the, uh, the name of the supervillain, yeah. Love this drawing, it's really good. The only way to stop it is to zoom in when selecting. Oh, yeah, about the, uh, little, yeah. I know what you mean. Wow, this is already done. Um, I knew it wasn't going to take long. I, I've got backup stuff to do <laughs> um i think it is i think it is done because so much at least for me like i already think i don't know that this is an improvement on the on, on the first one i did if you're just now <laughs> joining like what i would probably do if you had hired me to color this, which no one did, I asked, I, I, I emailed Danny. I was like, hey, can I do this on the stream? But, um, where did I save that? But I'm thinking, like, if I was hired to do this, do I send both of these to the editor <laughs> and be like, one of these didn't take very long, but it might be the better one. Um, I mean, I don't, I don't know if either one of these is an improvement over just the black and white drawing. And I really mean that. And I, and, uh, but we can agree that the drawing is really good, huh? <laughs> I always ask myself how much to put in when I need to color over ink wash. Uh, the answer is always that less is more. I, I agree. I agree completely. I, I did very little rendering on this at all. Um, and what's there I, might be overkill. Like I said, a little, little bit on Daredevil. Um, I like it. Uh, this is where it gets complicated because it looks so good. Uh... One thinks what to do next. Love this part. The expectation of the decision. Your streams are the best. Thank you, Prado. Uh, I like I like the right one the best. Thank you, Cordarius. They're both good for different reasons. Um, but I tell you what. So we're only <laughs> 40 minutes into the stream. Um, so what do I do now? I guess now... Do I change the title and the thumbnail of the stream <laughs> and do the rest of this other book I'm doing? Uh, they both look amazing, don't get me wrong. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, they, they both look amazing because they looked amazing before I ever did anything. Like I said, I think I've only... I, I, I don't know that I've done anything to it. <laughs> to improve it or not. But anyway, really a lot of fun. Uh, thank you, Danny, for letting me do this. But I tell you what we're going to do now is... Uh, I'm going to change up the stream. I'm going to start do another book. You came here for Daredevil. Uh, sorry, it didn't take very long. <laughs> the left one is the last page of the barcode. It, yeah, exactly. That's what I'm thinking. So we got the cover and then, you know, that one on the inside there. Um, all right, let's see. D -d 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 -d. Give me one moment here while I reconfigure the stream here. Uh, let's see, we're live coloring sci-fi anthology, Black Box Chronicles. Uh, the line art to, that we will be doing is by Eric Donovan, not, not this. Actually, let me go ahead and pull this stuff in. Do, 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 do. Bear with me. I'm sorry. 
that I am terrible at this. Uh, what is the name of this book? Where is it at? There we go. Let's save that. I don't think that was saved all night. Yeah, because the thumbnail and bridge was not correct. All right, there's that. There's that. That's is that the next page? Oh yeah, it's already in here. Fantastic. Sorry, I can't talk and think at the same time. Lightbotchronicles.com in the description. Have I missed anything? The, the the thumbnail. Change the thumbnail. I'm just going to use an old thumbnail. <laughs> Man, like almost nobody left. Y'all are so nice. <laughs> I'm always just assuming that everything I do, people are leaving at all points. I'm working on that. I'm working on that. It does look good. It does look good. I'm happy with it. I wonder if... Was I re recording for that? Oh, I was. Let me export this before I forget about it and save this as a PSD and lose it. I hate when I do that. <laughs> I've done that a couple times where I'll like have a nice video. It's in the clip format. I have my exported thing ready to go for a YouTube short or something. Then I save it as a PSD file. <laughs> it completely goes away. Uh, should put that there. All right. Hopefully that's saved. Oh, I got two of them. Now it'll save. Hello. Hope I didn't miss much. <laughs> uh, only, only the whole drawing. Uh, basically. Uh, and tell you what, I'll leave that in here because people are going to come in and go, well, what did you do? And where did it go? All right. Let's see. i tell you what. Actually, I know what I want to do here, so I'm going to do the, the last page. Uh, what am I doing? Let's close that. And then... All right. And that. All right. Let's move this over here. Actually, do I? I don't need any reference for this one. Uh, you should be able to go back, uh, Mr. Um, Japanese Fox. I think I have this set to have the DVR stuff. I think I do. <laughs> Enable DVR. Yeah, so you can just go back. Yeah, you can go back and watch if you want to. All right. So this scene, uh, I don't want to give away, well, it's kind of giving away the story a little bit, but not too much. Oh yeah, it's set. <laughs> I mean, you can, you know, you can go back and watch it anytime. I'll leave it up on the channel. So in at this point in this uh, story, we have a plane crash, and what color? Give me a second. Her.
Sorry, I'm bringing in some other pages just so I can remember what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, there we go. Yeah, I did these pages like it was a whole yesterday or something. And so, so I don't know what I was doing then. I'm going to start on the second panel. I have a better idea about what I want to do here. And sometimes that means it's a good place to start. So we've got this uh, wreckage sort of framing up everything else in that panel. And is that really the same color? It is. That's so funny. It's just funny how much more saturated it looks here because it's surrounded by gray. And here, the same color is surrounded by almost white. So in order for that color to work on this page, I actually have to desaturate it. Um, that's one of the reasons why um, when whenever people ask me about, specific, you know, color specifics and page to page consistency and stuff like that like there's so much of it that like really can't be consistent and that's that's important to know This is actually has a specific design and color scheme already. This is uh, one of the black boxes from Black Box Chronicles. Uh, da, 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 da. If I can find the right script, here we go. I knew it had yellow. Yeah, it's got yellow stripes and like cautions. Like this caution stripe things. And from a story standpoint, this is actually sort of key in this panel, so you'll see me do a little bit more detail here than the rest of the wreckage. How's everybody doing? Y'all good? Everybody having fun?
Yeah, I know I've brought this up before, but I'm pretty sure I've trained my audience to just not say much. They're like, he'll read it. He'll stop. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Is my is this little bracelet clicking my tablet annoying? Let me know. Sorry. This original uh, plane here is, is is highly like reflective, and you kind of see over here. Um, and so I'm trying to introduce some of that to make sure it feels like the same same plane. Yesterday, I accepted a commission with 13 characters in it. Uh, any tips on inking, trying to improve? I don't know where to start. Um, number one, um, don't take 13 <laughs> character commission. No, I'm kidding. Uh, that's very cool. It's just somebody commissioned you. That's awesome. Uh, but... Uh, uh, drawing, uh, I'm, I'm a big fan of, um, uh, what's his name? I don't know. I can't think of the name of any drawing books. There's, who am I thinking of? I can't remember what I'm thinking of. That's a great one for community feedback in the Discord. Yeah, absolutely. Um, if you are a... Thank you for helping me do my job, Chris, because I just forget. Oh, yeah. Wait, wait. There's a Discord. Uh, yeah, you could uh, you know, do your put your sketches uh, up there and, 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 if, and let people know um, you need some help with something, the composition or the... Colors or, or whatever it is that you're you're trying to whatever it is you're trying to accomplish there. Um, I like our little community. It's not the most active in the world, but I think I think that's a good thing. 
these discords that are just like constantly streaming, you know, nonstop, just, just give me anxiety. <laughs> How am I? I'm good. Thanks for asking. Yeah, I, th I think I I think I refreshed the link in the Discord. It's in the description. Um, but if uh, but if it's expired, just let me know. I don't think it is. Link don't work. <laughs> Never mind. Maybe maybe I invite people. Copy. Edit. There we go. I'll put a link in the chat also. Adam Cooper is good with that. Yeah, as far as like drawing resources though, like I uh I mean for comics, like how to draw comics in Marvel way is sort of a classic. Um but there's 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 all sorts of good anatomy books like the Loomis books and um I think I've had so many over the years they all blend together. Like I don't really remember any that like jumped out at me. Now it works awesome. I'm just now kind of seeing this is like the ground up ground from the plane sliding. So like this is dirt. Yeah. This dirt is at just the right angle that it would reflect a lot of the sky at this angle, I think. get 
just him. Put a clipping mask on the inks and push him back a little bit. do that you lose his red eyes don't think I want that yeah that's what we want I didn't notice that little glow there on his face until the last second it's like ah perfect These are just wires. And so you can see through them. I'm going to warm up this ground a little bit with an overlay layer. All right, now we'll do the rest of this. Playboy special editions are the best anatomy books for drawing ever. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> I'm still, um, one of the things I am most proud of in my career is the fact that I have a page at playboy.com. Like, I have a profile there. <laughs> uh... Hold on. Yeah, it's still up. Um, obviously, um, well, this particular page is actually, well, it's not completely safe for work, but it's pretty safe. Um, but yeah, I'll actually, can I, here, I'll just do this. There you go. Playboy.com slash profile slash Kurt dash Michael dash Russell. And I can't show you anything else beyond this point. But because there's, there's a cartoon I did. Uh, we did a money shot uh, short 
for Playboy. I think it was literally the last issue <laughs> that got done. Like, so I guess we killed it. But it's just so ludicrous. It's such a ludicrous thing. <laughs> so. Fun stuff. Always wondered what kind of headphones. Uh, oh, they're uh, A A T H M. I don't even know, man. Fifties, fifties or something. They're not like super expensive headphones or anything. I mean, I want to say they're like eighty bucks or something. I guess that depends on what your definition of expensive is, but yeah. Nothing too crazy. Uh, any tips on how I can master colors? Should I rush the study or take increments here and there throughout the week? I mean, that's up to you. Um, there's times I've been almost obsessive about it, and there's times that I just have to, you know, I'm working, and then I'm learning through work and, and the stuff I'm doing there. And so... There's not really a right or a wrong way or anything like that. And do uh do what uh do what works for you. So I'm going to take some of this sky color and go over the mountains to push them back a little bit more so that I've got better contrast around the plane. Chat is getting weird. No, this chat has been weird. <laughs> That's the point. That's why we're here.
Have you heard the news report about an intruder who broke into someone's house and their squirrel fended them off? No, I missed I missed that one. Yeah, I'm spending a lot less time on on most media these days. These days, <laughs> so yeah, I missed that one. Do you think it's possible to color effectively with uh, a mouse? Yeah, you can. Um, it's harder, um, but you absolutely can. There are, there are pros that do. Either because of physical limitations or, uh, you know, personal insanity. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, no, I'm kidding. Yeah, you can color just fine with, uh, heck, you can get, get CSP on your phone and color with your finger. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't recommend it, but it's possible. You colored for about a year with a mouse and then worked a summer job to get a tablet. Yeah, I mean, I would recommend, I mean, even if it's a used 10-year-old Wacom tablet, it's better than a mouse if you can. They're affordable tablet. Yeah, Marta's right. There's there's a lot. <laughs> you don't have to buy used on eBay anymore. There's there's a lot of pretty good cheap tablets out there these days. When I started, it was like there was Wacom and a whole lot of crap, and that was it. <laughs> there was uh, all these brands. Huey on was garbage. Like like and now like they're doing pretty incredible stuff with some of those tablets. Um. My next one, I'm I'm thinking about trying one of these uh, canvas models uh, because for the for the price, like it's pretty insane. I mean, just I, I got to thinking about it. It's like yeah, the tablet might be a lot bigger. I don't necessarily have to use all of it. <laughs> I think I would still be in a little corner of it. Uh, but yeah, tablets have gotten really uh, affordable and. Um, pretty reasonable, I would say. I'm pushing back all these lines a little bit. Just lightning, light, lightning, light, light, I can't talk. Lightening them a little bit. I don't know if they're all lightened enough. Yeah, I've really only had three tablets ever, I think. I've got I had a an Intuos 2 which I used for years, which that's the one on the wall. I, I like I mounted it, you know. Um I've got the little Intuos draw. It's buried under everything on my desk somewhere. That I bought as a backup one time. Um, and then I've got this, uh, Cintiq Pro 13. Uh, my Intuos 2 was, is gray. Like, it's almost perfectly gray.
Yeah, I kind of liked it. He drew in like just enough of that like little yellow ringed area on the plane. And actually, that is not the plane. I was wondering why that. I'm like, this flatter flatted this thing the wrong... No, he didn't. He knew what he was doing. I didn't. Just squiggle some squiggles here and there, and you don't have to draw all the grass. It starts to look like grass. I don't know why people like screen tablets. It just gives you more back pain. Uh, if you if you don't know how to sit, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, artist has been drawing up on canvases and things for years. Um, but uh, yeah, it's possible. If my back can handle it, anyone's can. Um, page is crooked. <laughs> uh, let's see. Do I have? I think I have. How are we doing on time? Hour twenty. We're moving today. Uh, let's switch it up. We got another story. Yeah, let's get these here. Don't chew the pen. Why? Well, I can chew my pen if I want to chew my pen. It's really just so I don't uh, lose it. <laughs> as soon as I reach, put it down, I'll never find it again. All right. This is... Am I on the internet? I think I just lost you. My back. I think I'm here. Okay, yeah. Yeah, my internet lost connection for a second. Sorry. Chewing on the pen. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is.
There's a helicopter. Nope, not a helicopter. There's a plane going over my house. Sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, we've had like, uh, they've been doing a bunch of like, seems like fighter jet training or something around here. Bases. So it's pretty common to have a lot of military planes around. But, man, they've been they've been a little extra lately. Why is it that the iPad does a flashing thing? I don't know. I don't have a, a flashing thing, I don't think. Sorry, if you guys have questions or anything about what I'm doing, let me know. I'm, I'm having one of those days where I just don't know what to talk about. <laughs> it's like, I feel like I've said, I've said it all. Oh, there's a different black box, by the way. Talk about pizza or beef jerky? What? A Red Bull? And, and weren't you the one calling the chat weird earlier? <laughs> like, wait a second. <laughs> Maybe that wasn't you. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know anything about uh, Hydron Collider, sorry. Um, yeah, this, uh, I always like it when you have a scene that has been established already. It's like, yay, you've got all your colors already. I think anything these days that lets me use a little less brain power, it's like, yeah. <laughs> I've only got so much to use, you know? You're really stuck on me chewing this pen, right? blue it's not the same it's not the same ship <laughs> it's a different different wreck different wreck
Is my signal screwing up? You guys seeing everything okay? I can't tell when people are complaining in the chat or being silly. <laughs> You see the code, gotcha. <clears throat> yeah, I'm still kind of thinking the same way, even on interiors. I'm still thinking first in terms of like the big, the big pieces, you know, middle ground, background, foreground, everything else uh, becomes uh, becomes detail, it just becomes, you know. What color are this dude's boots? Are they white? I think they're white. Or gray? Yeah, gray. Tell you what, I am actually going to call the stream a little bit early today, I think, because I'm hungry. So, uh, thank you for coming by today. If you missed uh, the first thing we did, it was this. This took like 20 minutes. <laughs> Or something because all the the values are are in there already basically but uh i don't know if it's any better than it was when it started but that's what we did when we first got here and now we're doing pages from black box chronicles again so um <laughs> enjoy the rest of the day so yeah you guys have any questions i'd be happy to answer them looks like we're wrapping it up though so thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. And I'll uh, we'll do this again uh, same time next week. Take care.